Hi, my name is John Bosworth. I'm a licensed mental health counselor in private practice in St. Pete, Florida. I'd like to talk a little bit about the requirements to be a psychologist. Most people, when they think of psychologists, think of a clinical psychologist. Um, I'll first go over some of the requirements for clinical psychology. Um, clinical psychologists usually obtain either a PhD or a PsyD, which is PSY. Uh, period D, which is a doctorate in psychology or counseling psychology. Um, the PhD is usually from an accredited university and it is geared more toward research and teaching. So it's kind of the scientist, if you've heard of the scientist practitioner model, it's basically a, um, a, a um, halfway point between research and teaching and then um, clinical work on the other hand. The PsyD degree is geared more for um, clinical work but at the doctoral level. So most of the, um, the coursework, the college coursework, the graduate school coursework is geared toward clinical psychology <clears throat> and counseling and not research or teaching. Um, so with that said, it's usually about uh, anywhere from you know three to five years after the bachelor's degree is obtained that you actually get the doctoral level as a clinical psychologist, the doctoral level training. Um, some other psychologists that don't actually have the same licensure requirements could be a neuropsychologist, um, we could have an experimental psychologist. Experimental psychologists usually earn a PhD, but what they do is they, they tend to um, teach at universities and do a lot more research-oriented work compared to clinical psychologists um, that are working in a more of a uh, clinical um, application, whether it's hospitals or private practice. And then there's also industrial organizational psychologists. Organizational psychologists don't actually need the licensure that a clinical psychologist does, although their academic training is just as rigorous and usually at the PhD level. Um, organizational psychologists can work with big companies, like here in Tampa we have Raymond James and um, you know, Honeywell, some of the bigger companies, they might hire industrial organizational psychologists to work with um, in personnel or in human resources as far as testing. So um, these are some of the requirements to be a psychologist. My name is John Bosworth and I am in private practice in St. Pete, Florida.